Okay, so today we're going to do a brief getting started and a quick demo of a fun project using Swift for Arduino uh, and an Arduino Uno. So uh, in order to do this project, we're going to make a, uh, a simple SOS flasher. And uh, first of all, obviously you have to have an Arduino Uno. So you can get one of these uh, mail order. Um, you can get them from various electronic shops, that kind of thing. Um, should cost something like 27 pounds if you're in the UK, 27 dollars if you're in the States. Also, I've got a USB cable, which I've already plugged in here. You need to get an appropriate one for uh, your Macintosh, whatever that is. Uh, we'll need to be running Macintosh Sierra or later for uh, the Swift for Arduino to work. So first things first, you'll go to www.swift for arduino.com to uh, download the app. You'll go into the download site. Uh, in here you'll have something to allow you to pay by card because I've downloaded it already. We've already got it down here in my downloads folder. Uh, this is also, this website's got some this video will be on it, obviously see so you're hopefully seeing it as well. It'll have various helpful links to other things. Uh, and it should just help you getting started. There's a few examples and things like that. Um, when you've downloaded it, you'll get a DMG file as per normal. If you open that up, uh, you might get asked to verify, etc. And you'll see the Swift for Arduino app in here. So let's say we drag this out onto the desktop so that we got it for easy access. And you've got uh, some FAQs, uh, a playground here, which doesn't actually run, but it gives you some example code. Uh, and here's a few examples, like from previous demos that I've done at talks and stuff like that, uh, like a traffic lights demo, etc. So now let's get back to the hardware. So I've got Swift for Arduino ready to go once I've got the, com the components ready. Here are the components down here. So I've got myself a red LED. I've got a 386 ohm resistor, but you can kind of use any sort of resistor. You know what sort of resistor would make sense. Uh, it's a five volt output from the pins on the Arduino when they're uh, engaged. So, you know, that'll make whatever makes sense there. So let's say we'll plug in our resistor like this. You've got your cathode on the short lead side as per normal and the anode on the long lead side. Let's plug in a resistor there. <laughs> into the plug board, let's put a line into ground, and then a line coming in from, well, you know, any of the pins, let's say, take it from pin seven, for example. So that's our circuit, it's real simple, it's just going through ground, uh, you've got the LED and a resistor, couldn't, couldn't be simpler, just a nice simple circuit there. So let's go back to the IDE and we'll uh, show you how to write code in Swift for Arduino, why it's so much easier than writing code in something like C in the classic IDE. So if we open this up, first of all, uh, a quick tour of the IDE. This is the main editor here. Uh, you've got some string handling on the right hand side, build, output, and these are a list of little bits of code that you can drag in to make your life a bit easier to sort of see how to put together some of the, the basic bits while you're, while you're learning about it. This is the setup section in here where you set up pin modes, etc. And this is the infinite loop that you run that will run your program uh, indefinitely, much like it would on a traditional Arduino IDE. So first things first, we'll set their pin seven to be an output pin. Then in the run loop, what we want to do is turn this pin on and off and on and off and on and off three times quickly, which is the letter S, three times slowly, which is the letter O, and three times quickly, which is the letter S. That'll be our SOS pattern. So in order to turn the pin on, we drag in this right pin signature here. So we write pin seven to value high. We'll want to wait a short time before turning it off. Let's drag that in. Let's say we we'll wait 100 milliseconds. And then for pin seven again, we'll now write it low to turn the pin off. We'll copy and paste that little bit of code in there, turn it off again. Now, rather than repeating ourselves, it's probably easier at this point to do a function. So we'll call that fast 
flash pin. I'm going to drag that code into the function. Now we can call the function, let's put a comment for what we're doing, three times. Then we're going to wait a short time before we output the next letter. Then we want something that's going to do the same thing but a little bit slower. So let's call that slow flash pin. Why not? We'll put it in as 300 milliseconds on, 300 milliseconds off. And for the letter O, we're going to slow flash the pin three times. We'll wait a short second, uh, sorry, a short delay before we output the letter S again. And finally, we'll wait a few seconds before we repeat the pattern again, which will be repeated indefinitely. Okay, so we've got the final SOS sketch here. You could do a little bit of reformatting if you wanted, maybe put in some spaces just to make it a bit easier to read. But, you know, basically you can see really simply what's going on here. And the nice thing about Swift as a language, it's safe, but it's also just really simple to read. So you've got a lot of protection in there, but it, it just makes a, a much easier language to kind of pick up and understand. You can see exactly what this code's doing here. So if we'll save this down to the desktop, let's call it something like SOS demo. And you need to save before you can build and upload. It's good practice anyway, but actually the build system requires it. If you press build, you can see the build output down there. But more interesting now, we've got an Arduino plugged in here. So we'll plug the Arduino serial cable in like that. And you'll see that it's detected uh, the Arduino here and which port it's on. And when we press upload, it'll rebuild if it's necessary. And then it'll upload onto the Swift for Arduino. And here you go. So you've got, that was the three flashes if you wait for the cycle to go to the end. So it's three flashes for S, three slow flashes for O, three flashes for S, and that's it. A quick demo of Swift for Arduino that should get you up and running. If you want to look for any examples, look on the GitHub site for previous samples. There's a couple of samples that come here. Light sensor projects, micro demo, traffic lights that will give you some ideas for getting started. And of course, contact us on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, we can't wait to see what we get doing with Swift for Arduino.